Summer is just around the corner with only three months to go. And you're telling yourself, this summer's going to be different. This year's going to be the one. You're finally going to be the aesthetic guy on the beach, looking shredded, feeling confident about yourself, and not feeling so embarrassed about wearing a t-shirt at the beach. However, all of that will just be another yearly fantasy of bullshit, unless you get your act together now. So in this video, I'm going to give you five tips to get into shape for summer. But tip number one, I'm sure you've all heard it a million times, but it has to be said, calorie deficit. For anyone who's overweight or just isn't that defined, you want to be in a calorie deficit. And this is simply just eating less than your maintenance calories. On the flip side, if you're still skinny and you just want to be in a lean bulk, then this is basically just eating really clean, but in a small calorie surplus. Now with all this calorie maintenance levels and tracking calories, you're probably thinking, what if I just don't want to measure out my food? I don't want to sit there, measure out every single grain. Well, there is an option and a way around that. And yeah, of course, tracking calories will definitely help and be more accurate to ensuring results. But another method can be the guesstimate method. And this literally just means after a while of eating the same sort of meals, you'll get a rough idea of how much calories and how much protein they contain. So for example, if you're eating like chicken and rice, you'll know that one chicken breast is around 150 calories and rice can typically be 300, vegetables and sauce around 200. So if you're bulking up or just have a super fast metabolism, then you can underestimate the calories and round down to a whole number like 600 calories in this case. Whereas if you're losing weight, I'd overestimate the calories and round it up. So in this case, I'd go for around 700 calories. And this just makes it so much easier because you don't have to weigh out everything. You can literally just write down in your notes. But it's a good middle ground because you're not really tracking calories and you're not obsessed of measuring like every single grain of rice. But on the flip side of it, it's not like you're not tracking anything at all and you're complaining about having no progress. So it's a good in between. Tip two, prioritize weight training. Now there's been a common myth that's been circling around that cardio is for weight loss and then weight training is for weight gain and that's completely untrue. You need to do weight training or resistant training in order to build muscle and build that aesthetic physique. Otherwise, it's pretty likely that you just become skinny fat and have no muscle mass. This is my client, Carl, who was in that awkward skinny fat stage where he had very little muscle mass and his arms were pretty skinny, but he still had a big stomach. And this is him now. After just seven weeks of heavy weight training, a high protein diet and complete tracking and guidance of his progress, he managed to completely transform his physique. If you apply those three principles, you really will get into shape by summer. Carl found the weekly one-to-one -one check ins and visual tracking of progress to be crucial in his shredding transformation. As well as that, the diet that I built him meant that he could still enjoy foods that he loved whilst getting into shape. And with the workouts, he trained completely from home with just a barbell and his own body weight. So, you really don't need any super fancy equipment to get into shape. And if you'd like to work with me to achieve your dream physique this summer, you can head to the first link in the description to apply for my one to one online coaching. So, boys, tip three hydration. This is so easy to do and you should aim for about three to four liters per day. Not only does this benefit your body by making you less fatigued and increasing your focus, but it also makes your face look less drained and healthier. And it's all good and well having a chiseled physique, but if you've got a super drained face, then the physique is pretty useless. You've probably seen many UFC or boxers that have awful weight cuts and even though their physiques look great, their faces are so empty so they look like crap. Tip four, a high protein diet. You want to make sure you're getting a good amount of protein. A lot of high protein, low fat diets do work, but what also works very well is a keto diet. This type of diet is typically if you're trying to lose weight. So it's a macro split where you'll have around 70% of your food being from fat, 25% from protein, and around 5% carbs. So a super low carb diet. But basically, the bottom line is, you wanna make sure you're eating enough protein and eating in a calorie deficit. A good way of beating your hunger, or let's say if you have a large appetite, is simply by eating high volume meals that aren't very calorie dense. So foods that will fill you up, but don't have a lot of calories. For breakfast, you could have a smoothie bowl or egg whites and spinach omelette. And for lunch and dinner, you could have something like fish and potatoes or lean meats and rice. And then for snacks, you can have fruits like watermelon, blueberries, and just a whole range of filling foods like Greek yogurt, oats, soups, those type of foods. Tip five, timing. Don't leave it too late, you need to start now. If you leave it too late, it'll end up just being a huge rush and you'll try and lose loads of weight in a short period of time, but, during that period of time, you also lose a lot of muscle mass. Trust me, you don't want to be that guy eating like one banana a day, doing a thousand push-ups before his flights, 
So what you can do is just break your goals down into sections and map out exactly how you're gonna build yourself this summer. And if you're struggling for high protein breakfast options, you can click this video right here where I made three simple to make easy recipes. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up the whole video. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching it the whole way through. Drop a like, drop a subscription, and until next time.